Hi everyone, candidate. Hey, are you wondering which subject should you start studying from out of the 10 subjects? What is it that you should start from? What is it that you should do second? And hey, what is it that you should do last? Does it matter if you have a subject sequence or any subject? Kar lete hai? Can we get somebody's subject sequence that already helped them pass? Then you're watching the correct video. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanishka and I hope you all are doing good. Today's video is specially for my CFA level 1 candidates. I'm going to be giving you a subject sequence, my subject sequence that I followed for my exam and I've given to so many of my clients. Everybody usually likes it and follows it. There's a very, very good strategy behind this. So I think you don't want to miss it. Let's get straight to it. But before that, if you're new to this channel, then please take one second to hit the subscribe button. If you've ever liked my work, then please join the community by subscribing to the channel. If you're already a part of this channel, then thank you so much for joining me in my journey. I hope we stay together till the end of time. So, CFA level 1 candidates, I'm going to first start with two categories. One for people who go for classes, coaching and such stuff. And one for people who are doing self-study. For people who are going to classes, coaching, whatever... The smartest subject sequence that you can follow is cut, copy, paste what is happening in your coaching. The reason for that is if you will be at your coaching space, you will be a little bit in mental peace. You will be a little bit more calm and you will want to do better because you will think that I am in line chal rahe with what is happening. So you will kind of be more comfortable. So if you are going for a coaching, don't think too much. Just follow their subject sequence because even if you try to do something else, it will just waste your time. Okay? You are... You, so it was pretty simple and straightforward for you guys. Now for the people who are doing self-study or who are not going to coaching, I'm going to be giving you the subject sequence. Now there are three main milestones or main strategic points in this particular subject sequence that I don't think you should miss particularly because it is these three that mark the strategy. There is a strategy but I would still say you can play around but these three points is I would say where you shouldn't play around. That is subject number one. Subject number 5 and subject number 10. So much suspense. Let's start. So on subject number 1, you should do quants or quantitative analysis as we call it. The reason for that is in level 1, you are yet to understand how to use the financial calculator. And believe me, it is very different from the regular scientific calculator or the regular calculator that we use. So to understand the financial calculator, the best subject that you can start with is quants. Also, quants has a pre-read chapter for you guys called time value of money and that chapter is so important for your entire not just cfa level one for your entire cfa level one level two level three all subjects ka base hai time value of money like if you don't know time value of money well you're really gonna struggle with cfa ahead so make sure even if it is a period chapter you are doing time value of money well and you are doing it in the very very start because wo seekhna baut zaruri hai wo samajna baut zaruri hai to learn the calculator and to learn a lot about CFA. So, you subject learn every subject. Therefore, the first subject, like I said, very important milestone, you should do quants. Now, thereafter, we're going to follow an easy, hard, easy, hard strategy. Uh, reason for that is, if you do continuously easy subjects, then extreme overconfidence comes out. And if you bulk the hard subjects together, then extreme demotivation comes. You can say that you don't want to do CFA, you don't want to do the exam. So keeping all the hard subjects together is not a good idea. Maintaining a balance between hard, easy, hard, easy helps us also stay a little bit sane and calm. And like I always say, CFA is a mental exam. So we need to find hacks to trick our brain that everything is going right, everything is going right, everything is going right. Therefore, keeping that strategy in mind, we're keeping the easy, hard, easy, hard strategy. So on subject number two, we will have fixed income. Fixed income, why have I kept it in the very start only? Because it is alien to most of us. Now, we still have heard about shares, about stocks. Basic se basic things to hume pata yogi. Even if, you know, uh, we don't invest in it. Even if I'm not from a commerce background. In a general conversation, in a movie, kahi na kahi suna, it's not an alien term at least. Fixed income, on the other hand, is alien to a lot of people. Even commerce and finance students are not very aware of it. It's better that you start with it, start with it, finish it off. Because if you go to tap it towards the end, it might just be more anxiety inducing. So fixed income on number two. Now after fixed income, like I said, fixed income can get a little heavy, can get a little overwhelming for some people. Uh, it's honestly just about getting it. Once you get fixed income, it's very easy. But wo thoda sa jab tak samaj nahi aai, it feels a little bit difficult. So because it's a heavy or thoda overwhelming, ho gaya, the next subject, the third subject will be a little bit calm, a little bit chill, a little bit easy. 
and there is where we bring alternative investments like i said as the subject stays it is calm it is easy it has a lesser syllabus it has a lesser weightage mo theory bhi kafi hai to it is a good balance also fixed income and alternative investments go well together so number 3 we have alternative investments ab itna easy bhi nahi jana life mein so the fourth subject we have is derivatives now derivatives is actually less portion but like i said it can make a lot of people feel very intimidated when practicing questions samajhna bahut easy hai but wo practice karna thoda difficult hota hai because you are yet to crack it it's not like out of the world difficult sab kuch easy hai it's just about getting the concept clear very very well jo practice ke sath aata jayega so to balance alternative investments ka ease we will do derivatives also always remember fixed income alternative investments and derivatives should be kept together they are like one group kind of a thing kuch kuch similarities teeno subjects mein hai level 1 level 2 and level 3 mein teeno mein so you usually also you should always group fixed income alternative investments and derivatives together <laughs> now like i said we're coming to the milestone number 2 the fifth subject very 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 important milestone ye wala change mat karna first fifth and tenth so the fifth subject should be ethics now ethics jab aap padhoge aapko bahut easy lagega but it should be still done in the middle because you need that much time for practicing because that's what makes ethics difficult the lack of practice isliye ethics ko in mid point pe rakhna is a good time ek hi baar padho usko wapas revise karne ki bhi zarurat nahi padegi because from that moment onwards the moment you finish studying you should practice ethics at least four times a week if not every single day minimum 10 questions four times a week if you can't do it seven times already so ethics is a very very important thing to keep in the mid point now sixth subject mein hum rakhenge eco uh, the reason i'm keeping eco is eco and derivatives has certain similarities not a lot bahut hi minimal 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 hai especially as you go in level 2 you will see the similarities merge more and more level 3 mein zyada hi zyada merge hoga so it is a good combination to keep derivatives and eco and also eco thoda sa matlab average hai. it's not too difficult it's not too easy from 6th to 9th honestly all subjects are not very hard not very easy it's like a balance already so we'll try to group as many common subjects as we can so eco will go on number 6 now on 7th we will do equity equity is basically your shares stocks basically basically that it's not just that but it is like uh, a major part of that now why am i keeping equity on number 7 is because equity has a bit of like a uh, content a little bit of matter thoda sa time lag sakta hai so it's just good that you push equity out of the way also if you're done with fixed income and alternative investments then it's just good to keep uh, equity also if derivatives because they are like different asset classes done so good ki equity bhi aa jaye eco ka break mil gaya so now let's just do equity now between 8 and 9 you can change you can swap i've given it like this there's no special strategy for 8 and 9 so you can swap either all karke between corporate issuers and portfolio management you can do any either all both are very important but both are same on their difficulty levels corporate issuers is slightly easier so maybe you can do portfolio first whatever you can choose between corporate issuers and portfolio doesn't matter uh, i am in this video going to keep uh, portfolio as number 8 and corporate issuers as number 9 now we're coming to the third and most important milestone of this video the last subject that you should do is f sc now i know i know that this is very contrary to what you might have thought or what a lot of people might have said because sabse bada subject hai ye sabse highest weightage level 1 mein fsa ka hai so why am i saying do it in the end because sabse bada hai right pura book ek baar pad chuke honge do you think ki aap wo ek aur baar pad sakte ho think of it like if i think about myself and i did it i knew ki main ek hi baar fsa pad sakti hu mere mein wo hai hi nahi ki main wapas se pura book padhu so the wisest way would be that do fsa last so that i don't need any revision i can immediately go to institute practices while i start revising and accumulating the other subjects so that's why i like keeping fsa the last it just saves you from rereading it again or revising it again and it is such a big subject that you don't want to revise it again so strategy se fsa ko mai start mein uh, sabse last mein rakhti hu and it has always worked wonders for me uh in fact there are so many of my clients who've done it and it has also saved them a lot of time and effort so yeah three main milestones do quants first for the calculator do ethics in the midpoint that is the fifth subject because you'll need that much amount of time to practice and do fsa last because you do not want to revise it again you want to immediately get to institute questions iske beech mein jo maine bataya hai if you want to follow it good even if you do not want to follow it it's not too much of a problem 
बट येस बहुत ज्यादा लंबा वीडियो होगा आई एक्चुअली थॉट की दो मिनट में जाएगा बट समटाइम्स यू नो वी टॉक सो मच आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू एक्सप्लेन द रीजन uh and yes that's it all the best to all of you who are giving your exam if you like this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe i'll see you guys very very soon until then keep talking and definitely keep learning